What's up everyone? So update on the Jeep today. I finally got a new soft top as you can see here. So we're going to install that and unbox it. It's not an expensive one. It was under 200 bucks. I'll go ahead and link it in the description below. So we'll take a look at the original soft top. This thing is the original from 1993. You can see it is in very bad shape. Zippers all just ripped right off. You can see the back here. Look how strong this is still. Very, very strong. <laughs> and then if we go around here, you can see this side too. It's actually shrunk enough where you cannot straighten these. And then you, you definitely can't see out of those windows. I've tried to clean them. No. Plus, like I said, the uh, zippers are all just ripping off. So, yeah. I'm going to take this off on a time lapse and then put the new one on. I'm not going to do a live video or like uh, real time because there's a ton of them out there telling you how to do this. So yeah, just enjoy and like I said, we'll unbox that uh, soft top right now. Talk to you at the end. Alright, so we got the top pulled out here and it looks to be decent quality. I'm not expecting a lot for the price. Like I said, it was under 200 bucks. So you've got the main top. We've got the uh, door skins here. The rear window. And I noticed you can see an employee or someone must have stepped on it wherever they put it together because there's some uh, tracks on it. But you know, is what it is. And then you've got the uh, rear windows here, they are tented. So yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and get the old top off and then we'll get the new one on. Okay, so I got the new top on. Unfortunately, I lost the footage of putting the top on. My phone overheated or something. It was pretty dang hot today, but it cut out and uh, I couldn't get that part. So. It went smoothly, the top was easy to get on. These windows are the hardest bit. So stretching it on the fabric, it was a bit of a challenge, but not too bad. At least not on the driver's side. The main fitment issue, other than I'm missing my uh, tailgate bar, I gotta get one of those, is the fitment on the other side. But you can see, we're not wet inside, I just washed this and uh, excuse the uh, muck. I've been working in here pulling out the old alarm stuff. So we'll go around here and I'll show you this window. So this one right here, unfortunately, right here, just did not want to stretch. I actually had to take a hair dryer and heat this up to get it to finally stretch down and get on that uh, little button there. And the stitching inside wasn't done great. So the only thing holding two of the bits in here together was this little seal, but it's not a critical part or anything. It doesn't affect nothing. Like I said, there's no water or nothing getting in. So for under 200 bucks, I'm pretty dang happy with it. So yeah. That's it for this one. I'll go ahead and link the uh, top in the description, as I said before. And I'll even link the uh, little replacement button tab things up here if you need them. So yeah, that's it for this one. Talk to y'all in the next one, TTFN. Quickly before I end the video here, I forgot to show you one of my favorite parts of this top so far. And that's actually that it added in some little stash spots here. So driver and passenger side, you get these. And then you'll notice in the back, I still got my tools back there, but my speakers, I got the lights hit, hooked up. I can't leave the stereo on for long because coffee has it, but... So you can see, got the stereo all working good. For those of you that don't know, I've switched the lights out for all blue. So yeah, that's it for this one. Hope to see y'all in the next one, TTFN.